Okay, we're back. We're going to talk a little bit about cause and effect, which relates a little bit to plot, but it's a very important concept for understanding texts. So first off, what is cause and effect? You might have heard this phrase. Cause and effect is the process by which one event leads to another. This is going to come up in, again in the GED science exam. Okay, But how can this help us understand a story? We can better understand the plot and make connections if we understand how events are related to each other. So one thing happens because another thing in the past happened. Transition words and phrases often help us with this, such as subsequently, then, first, later, after that, etc. This isn't just for fictional texts. This is very important in informational texts as well. You may say, or someone may say, they put the pot on the stove on boil, and subsequently the noodles were boiled. So that means one event caused the other. If you said something happened, then someone got arrested, something bad probably happened. First, he went to school. I mean, the first thing that happened in a sequence of events was one, one event. Later would mean after. Okay, so cause and effect. This ties in. Okay, after that. That's another cause and effect thing. Be very mindful of these phrases. We're going to talk a little more later in the course about transition words, so I'm not going to go too in depth, but it's very important to be mindful of this. So how does this picture relate to cause and effect? Take a look at it. I'll give you a moment. Okay. Think about that picture. Keep thinking about it. And in the monkey's paw, if you did the in-depth exercise, something happening in a wish would be related how? The 200 pounds. How would, what would that be? A cause or an effect? Think about it a second. I'll give you one moment. Remember, at any time, you could always pause or tap the screen to pause the video. Okay? All right. This would be catastrophic. And this is one action would cause the other. In this picture, a meteor hits the earth. Millions of people die. That's bad. Okay? Or uh, a moon is colliding with the earth. I think it's a meteor. But one thing with the monkey's paw that's important is correlation is not causation. It's difficult to determine if any of the events in the monkey's paw caused any of the other events. Now, if it was, the wish for 200 pounds would have led to the death of their son. The wish for him to be alive again could have led to have been, him have been a zombie if that was the case. We're never really sure. It's left very ambiguous. The last wish is implied, but it's implied that that's a wish to, to cancel out the second wish, to bring him back to life. But again, correlation is not causation. So just because two things happen at the same time, that doesn't necessarily mean one caused each other. You could make an argument in the monkey's paw that that whole thing is correlation, not causation. People think bad things are going to happen, so they happen. It doesn't mean they're actually caused causally impacted. They may not be cause and effect. Okay? All right. And I'll see you next time. That's all for now.